So let's make some noise for our next poet, Shakima the Goddess. You ain't got to rush. You ain't got to rush. You good. How you feel? A little nervous. We a little nervous. <laughs> Hey, hey everybody, it's my birthday. <laughs> I am 36 years young. I feel blessed to be here, thank you. I just wanna say I was depressed a couple months ago. I just got a counseling, was in therapy about three weeks. And if, here I am. So I titled this poem, Fuck Depression. I wish I had a dollar for everyone that said, fuck me. My birth mom died before she could even nurse me. My three real moms were there to bestow me upon the great battle of life that came before me. No job could hold me. I was good at it and still quit. My pain, my passion, and stupidity was too big for all of it. Somehow money still remains. God adorned me with his jewels and shared in me from becoming insane. The enemy saw them before I did. Yet I searched for consolement. Got slammed by the doors of the very people that, thought I, that I thought was solid. You see, they was my foes and silly me, I was fooled. Tricks are for kids, I should have stayed in school. My heart was too big to acknowledge any of it. So I cultivated weeds into relationships and friendships. No fruit came from it. Starving like Marvin and I hated myself for it. I grew bitter like a struggling waitress with no tips. I am my own worst critic, drew many a conclusions. Half my battle was that it was all an illusion. I was always enough, and the devil had me in, in prison and seclusion. I mastered detachment from all but my other half, Sabbated, sabotaged the good folk just to avoid all conflict. I couldn't deal with more pain, so I never went outside just to avoid the rain. Let me say that again. I couldn't deal with pain, so I never went outside just to avoid the rain. Made no sense, but I made sense of it just to come to find I had just been blocking my own blessings. But I keep on going and going and going with no plan of mine but the one God already written. I scream, Lord, what did I do to deserve all this? Feel as a defeat overcame me. He yelled back, don't quit. Change is coming for the better, and you'll see. Tears burned down my cheek. My patience was then under the crackhead, and my nerves matched that. Half my life diminished, and most of it, I was blacked. So I'm raising scholars, raising my kids, they scholars, and crying in the darkness, making sure these kids is damn near perfect with no fathers. Grew so numb over the years that my face lacks expression, because I can't give up, and I really wanted to give up on life, love, and this progression. Before I used to run away from the wind from every direction, north, south, east, and the west end, a long lost goddess smiled while her head was spinning. But I learned a lot of my lesson on self-destruction. No need for stressing, fuck depression. Time to stop overthinking and just do my best, and God is in control of everything. He suited me with the armor unlike the rest, like a warrior. That's why the enemy people didn't even know of. I'm in your hands, God, until it's time to go to heaven and I could truly rest in. I chose not to go to hell and I chose to stay blessed. I chose to see his footprints carry me instead. Thank y'all.